fans. Just before that, SB19, the record for views. But this is uh, a personal record. Whatever happens today, we'll have already achieved that. It's a milestone in itself because we'll be having one of the queens of the cinema or uh, cinema here in the Philippines with us on the show. She goes by <laughs> she goes by Bea, but we can recognize her as Bobby <laughs> as well, one of her many iconic roles. But of course, before we get to that, we want to uh, invite all of you guys to just keep on sending your thoughts, all of your um, your mga opinions, mo, your mga comments, mo, all of your virtual gifts in honor of the queen that is joining us today. But of course, before we get the episode started, I want to remind all of you guys that Mix and Match is actually uh, celebrating a milestone of their own as well. The sixth episode of Mix and Match featuring uh, Eugene Layog will be this Friday at 7 p.m. And of course, if you guys are looking for love, this is the show for you. Malayko, <laughs> I don't know if at the Bay I can also guest on this show. I don't think she needs to. I wouldn't recommend it. But welcome to one of um, the people I am proud to just be able to call Ate. Here she is. I'm going to claim it. The queen of cinema here in the Philippines. Bea Alonso. Wow. Hi, Edward. Hi, everyone. Hi, Tabea. Wow. I just have to say, um, sobrang excited ako stop motion. <laughs> stop motion. <laughs> it's all good. But uh, oh, no. no, you're clear again. You're okay. okay. You're okay. We're okay. fine. We're fine. Okay. <laughs> okay, to dive straight in, Atibea, how how are you? Because I haven't been able to catch up with you for quite some time. Actually, it's been since, a long time, no? Or over a yeah. year. So how are things or how have things been in the last couple of months specifically? Well, it's been very normal. I mean, the normal, if you may say it. But um, it's been boring. It's been exciting, all wrapped into one. Um. Hola. It's I'm just staying home, trying to flatten the curve, trying to help everybody okay. out, and yun lang. Well, nothing exciting is happening to me, to be honest. Well, I I would I would think that going to your own farm is pretty exciting. Oh, um, that yes. That's just me. Yeah. How was that? Uh, okay, to everyone who doesn't know or hasn't been watching at the Bayas vlogs, like my mom has been, uh, you actually have your own farm. So can you tell us about that, that really quickly? How how did like when did you even come up with the idea to like I, I want to farm? We bought the land back in 2010. But kasi oh. akong I don't know if you're familiar with Isabel Rivas. She's the senior actress, who is actually a good one. I worked with her in one of my projects, and then Meron Shop Meron Farm in Zambales. It's actually right next to our farm now. And then she said, "Merong available land right next to her farm." And so we checked her, which we checked out her farm. And then, parang na realize ko, parang gusto ko mag, I want to get into farming, but I didn't know how to do it. And so I talked to my mom if she was ready to commit to it. And parang okay na. At first, medyo feeling yata na tapon ko, so feeling yata parang inabang yeah, yeah. siya. But then. Now, parang na realize the importance of having a farm and the importance of, of um, having a sustainable living, a sustainable life. Sorry. So, can you tell us, Atebea, what, what are the things that you grow? Do you have uh, livestock here on we the farm? We have mangoes. Oh, yeah. We add some mango orchard. We have mangoes, and then we have mahogany maho- trees. Um, wow. We also have cows and then chickens. Yung normal animals that you would see or you would find in any farm, we have those. We have okay. um, fruit bearing trees. We have a pond. Check out my blog. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Like, uh, I guess I should have done my research, but uh, it's, no, it's always well, good that I can To be say, honest, yeah. no, no, no. It didn't. <laughs> No, it didn't come easy. Yeah. Talagang, ano, it took us 10 years. Oh, it's our 11th year now. Um, but, uh, uh, here of the chat first, medyo magasto siya. Hindi mo, hindi, mm-hmm. parang, inisip ko, will this generate money eventually? Kasi medyo may pagka-business savvy ako. I don't like spending too much money on something na, you know, it's yeah. just a waste. So, I want to have a business that will help me eventually to be able to have the stability that I want eventually, diba? Kapag finally mag-retire na ako, 
which is not anytime soon. But <laughs> but you have to get ready for that time, right? And so, parang right now, I I see the potential, and I feel na everybody's going back to basics, and yeah. we're actually doing that now without even you know realizing it, and it's been fun. Well, uh, we we look forward to it. Hopefully, I can get uh, my own mangoes. Mangoes by Bea. <laughs> I don't know Papadali if you're brand new. You're brand May. <laughs> May na kasi yung season ng mango. Tapdalan ko mami mo. Okay. All right. Uh, aha, this is live, Ate. Yeah, you can't take that back. <laughs> but since you were talking about, uh, you know, growing things or breeding things, well, we all know that you are a a, a different breed when it comes to uh, the craft of acting. Like you've gone through it all, young, young, young love team stage to the the drama stage. You've done so much, um, and now you're here. Like you're one of the most established actresses that we have in the country. Um, how does it feel that you know you've recently marked your twentieth anniversary in the industry? I I don't like I'm I'm about to reach five years. I can't imagine twenty. Um, you still yeah, look babe. as if you're twenty. <laughs> and how does it feel that no. you you've got to that that 20, 20, 20 year milestone? I'm telling you, time went by so fast. Parang hindi parang it's as if na alala ko pa yung para it's as if yung time when I auditioned was just yesterday. I remember it so vividly. I na na. I dream. Hello. Okay, sorry. Wait, you're you're lagging a little bit, Ate. Could you say yeah. that again about the audition? <laughs> yeah. Am I back? Okay, na ako. There. Yes. No, no. I I'm, no. I was just saying na na alala pa talaga so vividly yung 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 moment na nag audition ako and how nervous I was. And, you know, parang hindi ko if I get rejected, I get another chance to prove myself because I've always wanted to become an actress ever since, you know, I was very young. I knew in my heart that there's going to be one. And, you know, parang meron siyang si the desire of being, of wanting right. to be an actress right away. And I knew I was going to be able to be one, but I just didn't know how to get there. So actually, I consider myself very lucky I know a lot of people, including my brother, na medyo nahirapan siya to find what he wants to do in life or what he would, yeah. what his passion or purpose is. And ako, from the very beginning, when I was, I think, seven pa lang or eight, I knew what I wanted already. And parang after a while, dun lang siya nagiging, dun lang nagiging klaro why I, why I am here, why I am placed in this kind of position. Ngayon, parang it's time to give back na. Diba? So, yeah, oh, wow. parang it's my deeper purpose. It not, it, it, parang feeling ko it's bigger than you, bigger, bigger than me, bigger than all of us. So, that's well, what I learned for being here. Well, my question then to you, Atabea, is since you knew from a very young age um, what you wanted to do, I'm just checking that you can still hear me because you've frozen. <laughs> Tabea, are Hello. you there? Oh, yeah. Okay, good, good. No, so my, my my question to you then is, um, you knew what you wanted to do at a very young age, and you achieved it at uh, a very young age as well. So, was there an ever uh, a case of parang pwede natin sabi an identity crisis? Like, oh, okay, I've achieved what I wanted. Where do I go from here? Did you ever have that mm, or experience that? Yes, actually, twice. I experienced oh, wow. it okay. twice. Tell us about it. Yeah, there was a, this was before One More Chance. I wanted to quit. I wanted that project to be my last. And I knew I was a mama because I'm a breadwinner. No? So I knew na ako sa mom ko if okay lang to quit. Kaya ba namin financially? And then immediately she said, oh, naman, kung hindi ka masaya, just quit. So hmm. I was beginning to get ready for that transition to be normal again, to be ordinary, until you know I stumbled upon this character Basha, and then she actually began to teach me how to fall in love and craft again. And this time, mas siguro on a deeper level, hindi na siya yung surface na artista ka lang. Like yeah. I really fell in love with acting. 
And ang gana pa, kasi yung pinagdadaanan ng character na yun, nasa crossroads siya ng career niya and love life. So, parang, I, parang ano, art in his life. I was going through that also at that time. Although, as, as younger, noong time na yun, I was 19. And Basha, noong time na yun, I think, yung character niya was 25, 26. Yeah. But since I started working early, parang nasa same nas the same space kami, same place in our lives. So that character and, really resonated with me. Mm. And uh, there's two parts to that story as well. You know, there's another another actor, another component to that. And I've always been fascinated. And one of the questions, I have a question I'll ask later on that I've asked, mm-hmm. I think, two other guests or actually three other guests in two different okay. episodes. That I want to ask you as well, but I'll say that for later. But in that specific movie, you had uh, Sir John Lloyd with you. Sir John um, Lloyd. Sir John, sorry, I've never met him before. So I've never had that honor. So hopefully one day I can call him uh, a kuya or maybe at that point a tito. I don't know. Um, but uh, how, how did, can you answer this question? A lot of people, this came up so much um, when people found out that you're on the, uh, that you're coming on the show. They wanted to ask like, what? Who is John Lloyd Cruz to you? <laughs> he is so many things <laughs> to me. I can't seem to like pick a specific word to describe him to me. Um, right. No, siguro ano lang. Nasabi ko na to sa interview ko with G3 recently. He's my constant. He's been there for me for 20 years of my life. So more than half my life nandyan siya. So... And I'll be doing a project with him again this June. So, hindi siya nawawala. So, uh, he's my constant. <laughs> so, wait, wait, are you, wait, I, I was just surprised by that. I didn't know that there would be another, especially in the midst of the pandemic, that's a very, very yeah. big thing. Um, is there anything that you could tell us about this project? It will be, a, hello? Yeah. Dito hello? Ako. Yeah. Yeah. It will be directed by their Kathy Garcia Molina and written by okay. Carmi Raimundo. So it's going to be like a reunion of that one more chance group. But it's not going to be the same cast. It's going to be a different story. It's okay. actually a good one. It's a story about redemption. Ganda siya. Second chance. Well, <laughs> my gosh. Looking forward. We're looking forward to that as well. Hopefully, we get to see that. Um, you you even had this... this... Ah, why? Why? Why are you nervous? <laughs> si, si Eden kasi, well, I call him Eden. Eden Lloyd. Meron siya bag of tricks. Lagi siya may bagong baon. And lalo na ngayon, naging okay. normal siya for four years, three years. So, I feel like mas, ano siya, mas human. Mas marami siyang bagong baon from, hu- from real human experiences that he can, mm-hmm. you know, share. And I feel like every time I work with him, I'm always on my toes. He keeps me on my toes. Do, do you so feel that you have thing. that as well? Um, you mentioned that you know keeping he, he got in touch or had got that those experience that must in touch with the human life or the normal life. Do you feel that you have that as well? Mga bag of I, I try to. Well, I try to. Shantra, that's our job, diba? I have to be in touch with mm-hmm. you know yung human side of you. Hindi na yung artista. Kasi sometimes you get caught up with the persona, you know. Bea or Edward mm-hmm. or like, you know, yung parang whole yeah, glamorous yeah. Ano, side of show business. But if you think about it, that's not really our job. Hindi naman talaga yun. It's just, you know, parang yung embellishment. No? So the real work starts from, you know, parang getting in touch with who you are, your core, your experiences, the pains, the joys that you have. Mm-hmm. So yun. To be human is actually a job here in the industry. Para oh, sa mga that's true. <laughs> to be human. You. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and it's, it's the hardest also, thing to do. <laughs> to do honestly. It's also and, and very, very correct tough. you, not only in this business, uh, but everywhere. <laughs> oh, that's true. These days. That's true. That's a word for someone out there watching. <laughs> but uh, to, go, to go back to you, of course, we're on the topic of acting because there's so many people. Sorry, yeah. Uh, 
sending their virtual gifts. Um, I know you, you oh. might not be that familiar with Google, but so many people are sending things. And we'll get to them in just a second. But before we get to that, I just want to ask a little bit about your acting journey. Because um, when we worked together, the um, so first love in, in Canada, Mm-mm. I had so many things I wanted to ask you. But it's not appropriate yung grilling or roasting session uh, sa set. <laughs> so uh, this is the time. I've waited a couple of years since then. But was there ever times, and I'm sure there were, where you really struggled on set, like you couldn't oh, cry. Yeah. That's that's the most common question uh, in, in the industry as you're an actor. Like, what do you do if you can't cry? Galam time pagka before kapag crying scene, talagang kinakabahan ako. And I remember my first show was with Lorna Tolentino. She was the mm. star of the show. Um, it was called Kay Tagal Kang Hinatay. So, sa book one, I... I'm supposed to be this parang stepdaughter of hers na hindi makamove on sa death ng mom ko. And then sinisisi mm-hmm. ko sa kanya. And then first scene ko with her, just the two of us. Siya, ito yung parang highlight ko na. Kasi subplot lang naman, parang extra lang ako. Yeah. Dito, diba? So, sa isang week ng script, na, maswerte ka na na merong highlight na isang exec na alam mo yun. Parang, gina, ina, ano mo yun, parang, <laughs> parang nililook forward mo siya, you get nervous, yeah. you you, you know, memorize your lines over and over, kahit na ang ikli lang naman, di ba? Somehow, you still forget it, di ba? Kasi it matters <laughs> yeah. to you. And so, um, yung eksena, parang matutulog muna ako at first, and then she enters the room, sees all my paintings, and then magigising ako, and then magpa-flashback. So, pause muna. Di ba, nagpa-pause tayo pag sinabi ng yeah. uh, director na, okay, may flashback. So, makikita lang sa mga mga nagpa-flashback right. when my mom died, and then she didn't care, blah, 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 blah. And then, dapat, pag snap back to reality, or snap back to press, dapat umiyak na ako. Tapos umiyak din siya for seeing me like that. And then, parang ano, meron akong mga whole, parang three, four lines. Kasi medyo weird yung character ko nun. And then I'd walk out. Mm. Oh my God. So before the scene, dumatawa pa si Miss LT. She was trying to make me feel comfortable. You know, yeah, yeah. Because she knew I was so nervous. And by the way, siya yung p- mabait na artista na, mm-hmm. na makakatrabaho ng isang baguhang artista. Because she was so generous and gave tips. And she was patient, kahit pa ulit kami. Mm. Alam mo yun. I was very lucky to have a co-actor like that. At her, di ba, caliber. Yung pwede naman siyang mag, you know, mag-diva. Yeah, Pero, yeah. And then, so nag-action, pag mulat ng mata ko, umiiyak na siya. Tapos, bigla akong nag bigla akong naging out of character, naisip ko, oh my God, um- tumatawa lang siya kanina. How did she do that? Ang bilis niya umiyak. Yeah, yeah. Like, naging fan ako. I became an audience. And then, so cut. Kasi hindi ako ba kaya, diba? Parang nawala ako sa eksena. Parang, I completely lost it. And then, um, be, na, noong that time na yun, meron pang Obi Van. So, pinasa sa akin yung earphones ng assistant director. Si oh. Lauren pa yung director namin. Lauren T. Jogi. Pinasa niya sa akin yung earphones. Ay, yung headphones. And then sabi niya sa akin, kasi at parang audition pa lang yun eh, parang hindi pa nalo-launch yung show. So they could mm. easily replace me. He said, kapag hindi mo nagawa tong eksena na to, uuwi ka ngayong araw. <laughs> kasi nung audition, oh. hindi niya ako gusto. It was inang Olivia Lassan who wanted me for the role. So I had to prove myself pa. Ano mo, nasa isip ko nun, shit, patay ako kay mama kapag na-lose ko tong role na to. Sino magbabayad ng pasa namin? Sino magbabayad ng kuryente namin? So, umiyak ako dahil doon. Oh, wow, And okay. Then, Great. Kasi hindi ko, oh my God, patay ako kay mama. Have there ever been times where you've seen... Uh, where you've seen direct Lauren and you look at him and he looks at you tapos naalala mo yung moment na yan. No, I would always tell him. Tapos, um, kasi he was the director for the entire duration of the show. It ran for two years. So, parang three years kami magkasama. And mm. then, like, nung medyo nagkaroon ako ng confidence, meron, meron. Kasi I had to re-audition for the book two. So, mm. they didn't want me for book two. Kasi parang, you know, yung, yung role ko kasi 21-year-old lawyer. And I was only 14 years old. So, I had to re-audition. 
And then, nung close na kami, kasi parang napaprove ko na yung sarili ko sa kanya, like, I would tell him na, one day, mamalin mo din ako, one day, I will be your favorite. And then, para feeling wow. ko, nangyari naman after the show. <laughs> <laughs> well, and then, but, we all no, know. He was really my mentor back then, especially. Like, he would, he would teach me how to process my thoughts, kung bakit ka aabot dun sa point na maiiyak sa eksena, because crying is just the product of your emotions. It's not the, uh-huh. hindi siya yung, ano, hindi siya yung objective. It's a product. Yeah of what you feel. You cry because you feel pain. So, yun yung natutunan ko sa show na yun. Na, hindi ka, hindi porket sinabing umiyak ka, iisipin mo, dapat ayak ako dito. Like, it's not like that. You think about how you feel, how painful the experience is, you know. Well, that's, that's crazy. I, I, I'm, I'm thankful, <laughs> grateful, and sort of sad that I never got to work with Derek Lauren. Si Derek Lauren, oh, uh, to anyone director. watching who doesn't know him, um, is actually I, I've only known him as or known him as a father figure in the industry, you know, being yeah. you know looking uh, overwatching PBB, uh, that was head shot Star Magic ngayon, uh, of course in ABS as well. Uh, so direct Lauren, we love you if you're watching. Please renew yes. our contract. <laughs> yeah, <Yay, laughs> we love you. <laughs> Pero uh, we have to say I love you as well. Uh, at the at the very, you're gonna have to give me a sec. Because I'm ng uh, mga gifts. So let's give them a quick shout out. Uh, to Ella Barbal, uh, Sarang Hey Mayward, uh, Mayward Japan, Hey Beds, Silent Lurker Gab, Sakura Shirota, and Jay, Mayward Closet Fan, Van Vic, <laughs> Salvim, Dokande, uh, Karen K, friends, they just keep on coming. Uh, Kevin Home Alone, who's actually my dad, sent Chocolate Hills. Zita Lopez, just good love. <laughs> Nina G. Ferrer, oh, hello, Miss Ate Nina. Um, Aaron Garcia, <laughs> Mayward Sakalam, Franzi. And uh, yun, Mayat Smith once again. Thank you guys. Forgive me. Um, actually, we, all, we, ha- we already have over 500,000 diamonds at it, which is crazy. Wow. Um, we're only 20 minutes in. So uh, that's how much love everyone has for you. But our top three gifters for today so far are uh, at number three, Mayward Japan. Number two, Saranghe Mayward. And number one, Silent Lurker Gab. Gab, ano ba? why are you silent? Okay, back to the interview. I, I just want to get straight back in because it's so fun. I remember talking to you uh, before because we went to all of the Norway before. You know, Mai Mai was there. Kuya yes, Enchong was there. Yes, yes, you were yes. there. Papa P. So that's the time where we really got to hang out as people. Um, so going from that experience, I remember you told us in the dressing room that you were doing like a script writing course. <laughs> and I was like, wow, how do you work and tape and do all this acting stuff? Thus, you're consistently doing an acting course, uh, a, a script writing course on the side. Mm. And I remember you telling me super strict, naman, like it's on weekends, your only day of rest, or something like that. So, can you tell yeah. us about that? It was during Sunday, the whole day. Like, we would. Go there at 10 p.m. at 10 a.m. and then it would finish at around eight, seven, or eight. Ang oh, ingay ni Walter ah, sandali. Sandali okay lang, go lang. Walter. <laughs> okay. Walter White. Um, nakita kasi siya ng ano, ng pusa sa labas. So anyway, okay. attention na sa mga nanonood. Medyo maingay si Walter. Anyway, so um yes um. Si, una kasi si Meryl Soriano asked me to do it with her. I think, ano siya, bat, two batches bago yung batch na sinalihan ko. And then at first, I was, mm-hmm. of course, apprehensive about this. And I said, oh my God. Parang, hindi, una-una, hindi kaya ng time ko. And then I didn't have the confidence yeah. to do it. I, I, you know, I didn't consider myself as a writer. Although I, I like to write. But, you know, parang hindi man ako legit na writer. I'm an actress. And then, so... Parang, I, I found myself writing concepts in between takes habang nasa set ako. And then, naisip ko, kasi in-invite ako ni Paolo Avelino, is also my friend, to do it with him. And then, ang ending, hindi naman na ginawa. Ako yung nag... Kasi may ano siya eh. Kailangan may... Iniwan. Kailangan may, kailangan may meeting with um with Ricky Lee himself. You have, yung process is that you have to pass at least three concepts that you re- that you wrote and then kailangan mag-pitch sa kanya ng one specific concept that you're in love with that you're you know that you're going to work on throughout wow. the entire program and so i did that we 
had lunch with him and then I actually pitched the concept. Pero kung ba ako? Kasi he's the Ricky Lee, you know? He's a yeah. legend. I have so much respect for him. And at first, parang I didn't think that I would get in, but I did. Mm-hmm. And then, um, medyo, medyo na rin ako. Medyo naiyakod the whole process. Kasi, parang ano eh, yung, yung class, yung lahat ng pinipili niya from different walks of life, from different industries. So, I think to coming artista doon is Herbert Bautista, Kenny Pangalinan, and myself. And then, merong lawyer, merong um, teleserie writers, merong directors, and most of the directors there and producers have already won awards outside the country. They've gone mm. to Cannes. They've gone to Tokyo Film Festival, the Film Festival. And so, parang feeling ko, ako lang yung wala. Ako yung parang amateur doon. And... Actually, na realize ko I I actually look for that feeling, feeling of being a beginner. That's probably why I like baking. I yeah. like discovering things, new things. I like feeling like an amateur and striving hard to, you know, learn. So you I like wa- being I the like underdog. Feeling- Not an underdog because I never felt that way the entire program. Sa totoo lang, parang naging family ko sila kasi dumating din sa time na parang kailangan ko ng ganun sense of belongingness. <laughs> and so, parang it became my refuge. Uh, parang dun ko na-channel yung, you know, creative energy, you know, the things that I was feeling that was overpowering me. And mm. yun. So, I, hindi, hindi siguro underdog, I wouldn't say that. I like feeling like um, being in a place where I don't know anything. And, you know, oh, wow. being like an empty glass and, you know, parang let people and experiences and knowledge fill me in. So, I have a question lang. Have you seen, like, the limit of that glass? Have you been fulfilled enough? Like, again, you've achieved a lot. But what happens when the glass is full? Do you pour out? Do you move on to a next glass? What do you do? Um. Well, I would say... And dami rin namang ful- fulfillments. Yes, the glass is actually overflowing. But mm-hmm. it doesn't mean it stops there. I mean, there is a bigger glass underneath that glass. And there mm-hmm. is a bigger glass underneath that big glass. So it never stops. For me, it never stops. So can this uh, script writing, you, you've done technically all sides except for producing and holding the camera <laughs> yourself. Self, you've done it. <laughs> so, Alam could this lead to yun? you directing in the future? Oh no! Oh, no, was that? Parang hindi. Parang hindi ko kaya. Hindi ngayon kasi para nagiging shooter na rin ako, cinematographer in one because I'm doing my um, content ngayon for YouTube. Kasi medyo pranging ako okay, sa COVID, yeah, yeah. so I don't let people in my house. So I'm the one shooting <laughs> myself. Um, okay, I mean, I have to say, like, it's a serious job being a vlogger. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I've been enjoying it. But at the same time, it's consuming a lot of my time, which is good. Because I'm having downtime now. So there, um, directing, siguro hindi, hindi, I, I won't go there. I, siguro producing, okay, because I like to, like, I don't know, I like to see a concept right. come to life. But... Directing, siguro malayo pa ako dun. I I don't you, I don't like feeling like a, you know like um a leader. I don't like being responsible for so many decisions. Okay. Which <laughs> no, is true. No, because libra libran kasi ako, so medyo fickle by the ako, medyo tagal ako. Bakak mm. maging horrible director ako. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't say so. I wouldn't say so. I would love to be directed by Bea Alonso. Pero um, feeling ko it will moving, take so uh, much the, time for me to direct um actors kasi yun na nga baka magiging actors director ako yung parang kapag sinabi mo sa akin hindi pa ka pa okay kahit 50 takes na I'll give you more <laughs> kasi I, I know how what? it feels like to be an actress so and that's I mean for me from personal experience um like I've worked with a couple of amazing directors one of them that we both worked with is direct Paul who's a, who's a very I wouldn't say he's an actor's director. He's a very technical director that's very patient. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> so he's not yeah. really an actor's. But that's the best dream that you can have uh, where, when the director is an actor's director that can help you out. Or at least as a, 
as a newbie uh, or someone who's not that confident in the craft. But um, one thing I really wanted to ask you about at the Bea, okay. um, I'm just checking if, yeah, okay, I think you can hear me, is actually the experience of being in a love team. Because you mm-hmm. have been in love teams, you have been um, experiencing that since you know the very beginning. So mm-hmm. I, my main question to you is, um, and I want to jump straight in head first here, and I've asked this to mm-hmm. Kylan Francine, I asked this to Janine Gutierrez, and I'll ask you, how do you not fall in love with your love team? How do you not fall in love with your love team? I don't know. How do yeah. you not fall in love with your love team? I can't so, like, say I was never in love with it. I mean, you, to be honest, parang hindi mo siya ngayon kasi parang ano siya, parang um, wala na siyang boundaries. Wala na siyang parang to me yung entire experience ko of working with him because he was my only love in any way. So, para siyang ano, hindi ko ma-pinpoint when I fell in love with him and then fell out of love with him. Parang yung buong, buong experience of working with him. Parang naging ano siya, journey from being strangers, from being enemies. Kasi we didn't like each other at first, by the way. Like, I hated them for two years and Wow. Like we would never talk to each other or say hi. We didn't have each other's numbers. Like ayoko siya, ayaw niya rin sa akin. And then we became friends and then we alam mo got an understanding and then you know. Parang and so on. And now parang mm-hmm. ano siya, parang for me a relationship transcends romance. It became deeper. Para sa ano, but it if mm-hmm. it feels like he's family to me, you know, parang I would always care for the guy. So I cannot even answer your question because hindi ko alam how do you not what I don't know. Yeah. Sometimes right. when you like um, portray a character and that character is in love with that person, I feel like I'm also in love with him. You know, you know, para I feel it. Mm-hmm. I feel that I'm in love with him. So hindi ko nagkakaroon siya ng ano, parang hindi mo alam kung saan yung boundaries. And sometimes it's so hard to set boundaries. It's so hard to pinpoint where that starts and where that ends. There is mm-hmm. a very, very thin line between what's real and what's not real. And sometimes it's actually, you know, true. you know, but hindi mo, hindi mo siya pinpoint. And to me, hindi siya masama if you fall in love. I mean, having a relationship, that's a different story. But being in but, love is different. So, uh, sorry, uh, when I said love team, I think I miss, I might have misused the term a little bit. Of course, we, we know that you were with John Lloyd before in a love team. But I mean, in terms of on-screen partners, you've, you've had uh, a few, partnership. you've done many, many How movies. How do you not? Yeah, how do you not? Like, I've never fully understood. And honestly, I'm not going to lie. I didn't fully understand your answer. Not because you didn't explain it well. Because I was just like, I don't, like, I've never experienced that. Like, that, that just goes to show how deep it is. Uh, with you and <laughs> Sir John Lloyd, <laughs> but um, Wait, no. when it goes to so, oh go go. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. What about you in my mind? Wait, I'll sorry, you lying. actually lagged. I'm not lying. Huh? You actually lagged. <laughs> okay. Sorry, what was that? Sakto <laughs> 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 timing. You can't. You can't honestly tell me that you never fell in love with my my. I mean, come on. Well, at the uh, I had no idea that you were the new host for Quentong Bar. <laughs> oh my gosh! Why? Wait, wait, lang. I will show you this really quickly. I will show you this. At the writer, uh, isang writer namin ng Quentong Barber. <laughs> sabi niya. I didn't Ay wait lang. Sabi niya, ha ha lagot. <laughs> sabi niya, napaaga yung episode. Um, just to sort of answer your question, I'll, just, I'll say it for everyone watching at the moment as well. Actually, at the Bay, uh, the finale of Quentong Barber will actually be with Mai Mai. Um, and we're pre-taping it tomorrow. Um, and to clear it up for everyone watching, we're pre-taping it because the available si Mai Mai is a date ng finale. So we're pre-taping it. But it'll oh, air na. live. Let this, okay. tama na, but let this be your <laughs> teaser for that episode. Okay. okay. So nga, answer my question. Okay, okay, just so maganda yung pag edit pag, uh, when this airs on TV. Can you repeat the question? <laughs> <laughs> can you honestly tell me 
na hindi ka na in love ever kay Mai Mai? Um, I'm gonna leave my answer really simple and really vague. Um, I cannot. I, I, let's just say I cannot. I cannot lie. I cannot lie, and um, yeah, I cannot lie. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how else to answer that. Um, I, actually, I, I, I'm planning to talk a little bit more about it with my my. Hindi ba um, diwan? Ang when the finale comes. Hindi. Ilan taon ka na, Edward? Um, about I'm gonna turn 21 this year, this July. Ayan. Yun yung ano beauty of your 20s. Yung parang maradabang fears, nandapang confusions, and you know, complications. When you're in your 30s, parang ano, you you celebrate your truth, you celebrate the, siguro yung ano, yung sorrows, you said, ce- siguro mag-usap tayo pag na 30s ka na. And then I'm sure, and just a snap, kaya kaya mong sagutin tong tanong ko. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I'll answer it straight away after this episode. Kung gusto mo, pag tayo na lang. <laughs> Woo! And and dami na kong message sa team ko. Sabi ko, hala Edward, good luck. <laughs> but um, thank you, Atebea, for throwing me under the bus on that one. <laughs> <I'm> not. <clears throat> na lakas ng tibok ng puso ko ngayon. Uh, <laughs> but wait, going back, going back to you really quick before we move on to the the next topic. Ooh, ang init bigla. <laughs> is uh, how like when how do you maintain those oh, boundaries yeah. with your on screen partners? Ayan. Hello. Okay, Ate Bea, can you Ayan. hear me? Sobrang yes, init yes, ng yes, usapan. Yes, yes, <laughs> <laughs> Naglag bigla. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Going back to you, um, because we want to make the most of this episode. How did you maintain those boundaries with your own on screen partners? Yung mga one time we get to work with each other, pero intimate or lovey-dovey yung mga eksena. Yes. How, how do you even do that? How, do you have to you talk have to, beforehand? Yeah, but actually, you don't even have to talk about it. Parang that's like um, an understanding that you have already without even talking about it. Mm-hmm. It's a feeling ko you have to be able to turn it on and turn it off at some point. Mm-hmm. You know? Parang when you're on screen or when you're acting, of course, you have to be the character. And when the character is mm-hmm. in love, you have to be able to convey that as well. But then after, kapag pakap na, pakap na syempre. So you just let it go? Lalo like, I na, I... lalo na, kapag ano, kapag may jowa naman yung kareha mo or kung ikaw may jowa ka, di ba? That's better yun. As, uh, yeah, that's another thing that I don't understand. Like, what if, like, I have never understand. This is one of the, the reasons why I don't feel comfortable personally if I'm acting to do a kissing scene. Um, because I don't feel comfortable doing that with someone who's not, uh, like that I'm not in a relationship with or that I don't see a future with. But, lang akin. Like, I guess daya is one thing. Like, I know the technique where you do, like, the, the thumbs. And they Pero... understand that you have your boundaries, but being an actor, syempre parang, yeah. you have to be able to, like, sh- show them what the objective of the scene is. Mm-hmm. But- Hello, Ate Bea. For example, how passionately in love you are with each other. Then, yeah. Yeah. And I was saying, okay. if the objective of the scene is to show how passionately in love you are with each other, should we have to kiss each other? Should we have to... Mm-hmm. At times, I've, uh, I've done um, bed scenes, diba? love scenes. Mm-hmm. And for me, kasi, yun... I do that because I'm an actor and my body is my tool. Pero syempre, mm-hmm. ibang klase naman tayo. I, I'm sure you have your boundaries. I have mine. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, you will, siguro you will, will realize a lot of things as you go along. You know? And that, I guess, is uh, just an ode Hello. or a testimony to uh, the discipline needed to become uh, an actor or an actress, um, to you know, to really just grow and flourish in the craft as well. But, um, syempre sa industry, hindi maiiwasan yung rejection. Um, of course, like uh, in terms of auditions or in terms of getting reprimanded on set. Uh-huh. So, how did you heal Siguro from ano, those situations? To answer your to answer your question, 
I to go back to your question pala kanina, the, the one that you were talking about, about yung how they turn it off, how they turn it on. Mm-hmm. See, the most important thing of being an actor is respect. If you have respect to the person that you're working with and his personal life, and if you if you have respect for yourself and the person that you're with, then it should it will be just seamless. Respect. Anyway, yung dun sa ano, healing after being rejected. Ah, part of life, my God. And ang daming rejections okay. din talaga. Siguro ano, siguro, um, after being rejected a lot of times, siguro na, na master ko na rin yung art of, you know, picking up myself, picking up the pieces after being broken, and just um, learning from my mistakes. Mm-hmm. Siguro kahit sa set or in life in general. Parang di ba ganun naman yun? When, when you get rejected and when you feel broken, siguro marami kang baon na araw from that experience you didn't get the specific character. I mean, doon mo mas mamahalin yung sarili mo. Doon mo mas makilala yung sarili mo. Lalo na kapag nasa rock bottom ka, doon mo, doon mo madidiscover yung a lot of things about yourself that you never even, you know, realized before or discovered before. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, I can see uh, that... I love it. I love it because I'm getting so much. I'm getting a lot of wisdom at the moment. Um, I'm I'm gonna be honest, wisdom that I'm not even sure what to do with, because <laughs> I'm not in the situation <laughs> at the moment. So I'm sure when the time comes, I'll be able to use it. But um, sure. you know, we've all experienced the that that specific pain um, when it comes to uh, you know. Again, we're we're in a performance based industry where um, like you hear a lot of directors say you're only as good as your last work or your last project um every person in the industry knows that by heart that saying um so was there ever a time where you got hurt in in any walk of life in any path of life where you got hurt and it was hard to to go back to trust again to um to work or move forward did you ever experience that um Getting hurt on a man so many times. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so good at it already. <laughs> no, but <laughs> Galay, na. no, but um I know but I, I think acting and this art form has become my escape, it's become my refuge. I feel like when I'm hurting parang feeling ko, mamamaintain ko lang yung sanity ko if I'm acting. Like, a lot of those dramatic scenes came from my past hurtful experiences. I'm not gonna lie, because there is also, there, there is always a bea in every character that I do. There is bea in Bobby, there is bea in Basha, there is bea in Andrea. A lot of, a lot of different mm-hmm. characters that I've done, shan't prefer to be organic. It has come from a very organic place in your heart. So, yun nga, parang feeling ko, sabi nga ni, ano, naniniwala ko sa sabi ni Meryl Streep, di ba? Turn your pain into art. I wow. I believe in that very much. Mm. But, uh, let me just ask this question. Um, and, I hope it's not too much, but let me just ask it, and whatever you want to do with it, do with it. But, uh, Atibeya, have you forgiven I am working it. on it. No, no, no. I'm working on it, to be honest. I'm working on it. Siyempre, every day is a new day. Every day brings different feelings, different news, <laughs> mm-hmm. different experiences. So, when you feel like you're already there, meron ka na namang, you know, may bagong, ma- ma- bago ka ma-absorb and then, you know, lalayo ka na naman dun sa goal mo to forgive. Um, I'm working on it very hard because I feel like um, for me to become a better person, which I am aiming to do every day, um, I have to be able to, you know, pass that um, stage. So yeah. I, I'm I'm trying so hard, but I'm I cannot say I have forgiven fully, but. Lalo na kapag, ano, kapag hinahanapan mo ng accountability, 
But then I realized kahit na hindi ko mingi ng tawad at patawarin mo, di ba? But it's mm-hmm. it's easier said than done, I, th- I feel. To, to be yeah. very honest. Mm-hmm. Oh, and like, uh, you hear it so many times. I remember, like, if I can't forgive my sister for eating my my takeout, my takeout food, like from the day before, <laughs> how can I forgive, you know, that caliber? It's it's completely different. It's the same, but completely different. How do you forgive those things? But I, I don't know. I remember someone no, no, saying, No, but seriously, you become, you, become, uh, you become a better person because of these pains. Mm-hmm. To be it honest, you, so, natawanan sure. mo na lang talaga. Oo, oh, oh, ibang-ibang tao ka na talaga. Which is great. It's the beauty of life. <laughs> well, I look forward to the day where I don't have to talk about it to you uh, or with you in an interview. I just hope in the future I can just see um, that bright smile that I know that you have as well. But uh, moving on to the, actually a different question. I remember having Kuya Enchong on the... Uh, actually, sorry. I'm getting a little bit too ahead because <laughs> a lot of people, I, ha- I have to say that we're over 3,000 viewers already and we have over 1 million Yay. diamonds. The Kumu world loves you um, at the Bayah. Uh, shout out to everyone. Uh, Yona Smith 3 from Mayward, Japan. Dokande, Van Vic, Silent Lurker, Gab. Yona Smith again. Uh, Anjay, Saranghe, Mayward. Uh, Ellie Woods. Uh, Nina G. Ferrer, thank you. <laughs> hey, Ben, <laughs> I love Vanessa, Zita Lopez, Edward too. And Franzi and USS uh, EJB's official. Thank you so much again to everyone giving those diamonds. But as I was saying, uh, I talked to Kuya Enchong uh, actually a couple of episodes ago, many episodes ago. And he was talking about he, he plans or his goal is to, to hit that 1 billion peso mark before settling down. Which I'm like, whoa, sana all. <laughs> but yeah. okay, that's his goal. I respect that. Um, but how about you? Um, do you have a you know, you, you said you don't plan to stop anytime soon, and we're happy to hear that uh, as a lover of the industry. But when do you think you'll be ready to be like, okay, contento na ako, kinawa ko lahat ng gusto kong gawin, I can rest. Or I can enjoy life more. No, but this is what I enjoy the most from life, acting. So why will it why will I take it away from myself? So not anytime soon, but if you're talking about settling down and enjoying like mm-hmm. having kids or like being with someone forever, I have a timeline to each his own. So, I don't know what to say. It depends on how it's going to happen to me. Because I know, I've always been such like a planner. Hindi talagang mm-hmm. ano ako, goal setter. Kailangan like, when I was 21, when I was about your age, sabi, ang sabi ko sa sarili ko, 25, I would, you know, settle down. <laughs> and then when I was 25, sabi ko, dapat 28 na lang. Dapat <laughs> yung 28 na ako. Sabi ng mga 32 oh last na yun, last na. And all 33. <laughs> Not even thinking about it. So, <laughs> sabi ko, alam mo, titigil na ako, hindi na ako mag-set ng goals. Hindi, na, hindi ko na sabihin yun about myself. So, there, parang feeling ko, I just have to, you know, honor and respect your journey. And I feel like I, I will get there eventually, but I just don't know when. And I don't want to force things. And parang feeling ko, ano, you'll get there when you feel like, you know, you're already there. Sabihin, you know, kapag, kapag ka na. <laughs> kapag ka na. Can I can I ask? Um, is there anyone like uh per? I guess I could say this pursuing you or pursuing that. Would you even consider if could consider it if someone was again? I don't want to like I respect your privacy. You don't have to say any names. But is there someone in your heart at the moment pursuing me? Oh, no man. Oh, no man. <laughs> wow. Well, oh, no man. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> but would you, would you, would you even notice them? Would you allow them to to court you to to do whatever? Would you even accept that sort of attention at the moment? I'm I'm currently dating. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> Go ahead, the <to> bear. <laughs> no, I'm honestly happy to hear that because thank you. Um, so many, not so many people, actually in my own family as well. It's just one of those things where we just want to see you happy. <laughs> but I can't explain it. It's not like 
we want to we want to know all the deets. We want to hear all the cuentong yeah. barbero. Um, yeah. We just want to think. It's just one of those moments where uh, since the first moment I got to work with you, if um, if you talk about sorry, uh, I forgot. The, I'm having a bla- brain fart. Yeah. The, the woman that you asked you acted with in your first project. Oh my gosh, if I ever meet her, it's gonna be bad. Uh, about how oh, giving right. she was and how generous she was as an uh, as a co actress. That's how you were uh, for us. Of course, I'm talking about Miss uh, Lorna Tolentino, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's just one of those <laughs> moments where, oh my gosh, sorry, Miss Lorna, if I ever see you. Um, what I'm trying to say is that we just want to see that happiness and we want to see you have that happiness and joy as well. So, mm-hmm. yun lang. Hopefully, I'm, I'm, I'm we get to see it soon. I'm in a much better place now. I'm really in a much better place now. I'm happy and and I love myself now. Ngayon ko na sabi ko na nandiretsyo yun. I have learned that in a hard way. <laughs> right. But we were actually talking about something that uh, I wasn't actually planning on talking about in this episode. But I just found it really interesting. Before, when we were backstage, before we went live, we were talking about... You know, I like hosting. I enjoy hosting a little bit more than I do acting, um, mm-hmm. because I like the reality of hosting. Like it's yeah. just it's all real. Uh, it's real yeah. life, kumbaga. But acting is real life in a different way, where you're portraying a character or an extension of yourself. So yeah. why yeah. do you like wearing the mask of a character more? You actually said I like wearing the mask more than being me. Because, just because I yeah. Just because I feel like they're more interesting than I am. Like I have, you know, I can create all these different facets of them. I can make them more interesting than I than I am. Because I feel like you first na tis na meron sila, meron din ako. It's just that mm-hmm. kay Bobby mas magnified lang, kay kay Basha mas na magnified yung pagiging nice niya or pagiging empowered niya. You, you get what I mean? Parang Feeling ko, I can, when I'm creating this character, I can hide behind them and just mm-hmm. make people love them. Because as myself, you know, parang, you cannot apologize for who you are, right? I'm just right, always afraid that they won't like me. And to be honest, yun yung nagawa ng maganda sa akin ng YouTube. Ever since I got into vlogging, I feel like, um, man, mas nagkaroon ako ng confidence to show them who I really am. And, I've been so, I've been happy that I've been receiving a lot of good comments about it. I just, kasi parang ano eh, diba, lagi sa akin sinasabi ni Kuya Ian, do not apologize for who you are. Be unapologetic. Be, you know, bold. Mm-hmm. Be who you are. And it's something that I was not until now. Mm-hmm. So, kaya siguro mas na, nasasagot ko rin yung questions mo na mas mabilis. Because I feel like I'm more comfortable with who I am right now. I'm not you know, hiding anyone or, you know, hiding from anyone. So, may, may, may ganon. May, parang, and life is so short to realize that. So, mas ano ako ngayon. Although I enjoy acting very much, I also now enjoy another facet of myself, which is vlogging. Wow. I don't know. I don't know. I'm and just I happy. never knew happy I so would far. say that. <laughs> <laughs> and script writing and baking and technically I can guess you can call yourself a farmer as well <laughs> wow I Bea is a farmer, a farmer. <laughs> but um, we are wow. we are raking in uh, so much at the moment from you and from the online world as well we're actually trending worldwide at the moment wow. Bea uh, we're mm-hmm. trending uh, on the top spot nationwide uh, so that's how much people love you and um, actually, I just want to dive straight into something else. It's called, it's a segment that we have called Buzz Cut. And um, it's actually a bunch of questions that we have from the online world. Um, mm. I, it's just a bunch of people want to ask you these specific questions. So we can dive in right now. Game? Mm. Is that apple juice or beer? Sorry, it looked like. <laughs> Vitamins, John. Okay, okay, sorry. La- I, I, it's the German upbringing that I had. <laughs> okay. Um, from Glyza Love underscore Mayward Lau underscore Miss Anna, can you give someone uh, advice sa mga bagong artist na na overwhelm sa biglang pagsikat? Oh, that's a good one. Give some advice. Hmm. Sabi hmm. ng nani ko lagi, wag kang malulunod sa isang basong tubig. 
Figure okay. out mo na the word ko ano ibig sabihin nun. Hindi. Ang hirap yung English nun eh. Paano ba may papaliwan? Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> De, no, pero, I get it um, naman. Hindi, hindi, hindi. Pero ang, ang ibig kong sabihin, yung advice sa mga tao na na-overwhelm agad sa sa kasikatan nila, siguro you have to, I always say this, you have to really know your why. Why are you here? What's your purpose? What is your objective? Kapag nasagot mo yun, everything will come easily. Parang feeling ko, kahit no matter how much fame yung mating sa'yo or blessings, you will always be grounded. Because, you know, kagaya na sabi sa, kayo, sa inyo kanina, na you know that this is bigger than you. Yeah. You know, parang you have a deeper purpose. So, siguro work on your body of work first, work on yourself, work on how you treat people around you. Siguro yun. Huwag kang, tama ko, yung, alam mo kasi yung fame for me is overrated. Super. Now, Super. famous <laughs> people are being famous for being famous. <laughs> yeah. So, you have to focus on what you can give more than what you want to receive back. So, And also, uh, you are one of the people who became famous not for being famous. You were famous because you did something well, which was acting. So um, that's you. a that's a testimony to it as well. But from now then, Francie, uh, is there anything you can't let go but know you have to? You can't go, but you know you have to. Eating junk food. <laughs> really? <laughs> How so? Wait, I, of course... Be careful with brands, but what is your favorite snack? Is it cookies or chips or what, what is it? Uh, my sweet tooth ako, so I like yeah, mga brownies, I like cakes. Uh, I also like mga barbecue potato chips, things like that. Mga maanghang. Well, mga, so mga potential yeah. endorsers po, you know, at the Bay is the one for you. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, another one here. Um, from teen... Oh, okay. I guess we can flash this right up. What is the meaning of constant to you? you sort of talk, uh, touched on this a little bit. The person who's there always by your side. Kahit na hindi mo choice. It's just there. <laughs> kahit ayaw you know, mo. Constant. <laughs> oh, kahit ayaw niya rin na doon. Constant. Kahit magbago yung buhay niyo ngayon sa isa, meron na mga taong dumating sa buhay mo, may umalis na, ganun din sa kanya. But mm-hmm. you're just you know, right there for each other. So that's, like, for me, that's my definition of constant. At the Bay, a personal question from me. Is there mm-hmm. any chance in the future na, that you and John Lloyd could delve into something more than just that deep, deep friendship that you have? I don't know. Um, something I love moves in mysterious ways. Yung mga references ko parang ang tita. Right. Hindi, but... <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> hindi ako pwede... <laughs> hindi ako pwede magsalita ng tapos. But, you know, right now we're friends. We, under, we're, we understand mm-hmm. each other. You know, parang... Ang hirap din magsalita ng tapos. But sa ngayon, parang walang ganon. My gosh. What what the uh, what, uh, epic finale to the <laughs> to that <laughs> to that movie <laughs> with the I'm best uh, ending ano. that we could have siguro siguro gawin ng documentary yun oh my gosh please i will i will give you all my life savings just to actually don't quote me on that but i, I would love to to watch that one but um last question from princess princessa underscore jing uh advice or tips for those that you uh, give uh, that you want to give to those who have a fresh start in their lives from heartbreak. Oh, it's a good question. Just, just love yourself. You know, parang, ang cliche na niya, but, hindi mm-hmm. totoo, love yourself, it starts from there. You always have to have yourself to go back to. And, you know, naiinis ako dun pag sinasabi, kasalanan kasi ni ano to eh ni Renee Zellweger mm-hmm. and ni Tom Cruise when she said, you complete me. Because uh, that's no. not true. That's BS. Dapat, you have to <laughs> complete yourself. Hindi mm-hmm. mo kailangan ng another person to complete you. So, kapag buo ka, hindi mo kailangan ng isang tao para buuin ka. Kailangan mo siya, I, I mean, nagiging choice yun from you to like somebody to be in your life. 
but hindi hindi siya nagiging need so that's a different story siguro yun yun na yung advice ko for you to love yourself first before you can love somebody else probably one of the most used or most said piece of advice ever no, but, it's true. but least understood least understood siguro um, <laughs> so to you princessa jing i hope that you're not going through something <laughs> and that you're okay and i hope that advice works for you as Take well it one day at a uh, time kung may heartbreak ka man pinanggagalingan everything will be okay i'll take that advice as well but uh, okay <laughs> here Bakit from our <laughs> No, no, no. For the future, for the future, if ever kailangan. I think, Atibea, if I ever call you out of the blue, um, that will be the reason why. Grabe na alala ko pa naman yung mga, mga ano natin sa restaurants nung nasa Norway tayo. Wow! Napapasana all na lang ako dun eh. Yung mag-order ka pa sa kanya. Yung alam mo kung gusto niya, hindi niya gusto. <laughs> kinain niyo, kinain ko. Nice. Wow, Atibea. Well, I, you grilled us at that time. Oh my gosh. One on hour, two minutes. <laughs> Ate Feliz, Ate Feliz, um, can we mute Atibea? <laughs> All right. But moving on from that one, we have to say a big thank you to um, everyone because Atibea, it's, it's getting kind of crazy. Over 4,000 viewers, over 1.3 million diamonds. Mm. And dami nagsasend. Wow. Um, siguro ang daming tuwa sa mga, <laughs> sa mga questions pa sa akin. <laughs> mga experiences that you're sharing. Sa mga ano, anecdotes. Gusto niyo ba ba malaman? Ang daya kasi hindi ko nakikita dito yung mga comments nila. Ito yung masagot. <laughs> well, at, at Ibea, let's just say, if ever, um, after COVID or, or whatever, um, if you want to do something on your YouTube, game ako. I'll say oh, that. <laughs> if you want. Live to. Live to. Sige, i-clip nyo pa. I-clip nyo pa. Basta ate yan na edit out sa TV area. <laughs> we have to say a big thank you to uh, ako, Silent Lurker. Ako. Oh. May tanong ako. Ano yung go, TV? Go. Kasi like, I never pa ako. Kasi first time ko, na nagbuta tayo sa Nori, first time ko nakita okay. yung ano, Aurora Brialis. Ikaw nakita yeah. mo with someone. Yeah. Anong feeling na kasama mo yung special na tao sa iyo. Kasi na alam pang ngarap ko talaga eh, yung makakita ng Aurora Borealis kasama yung Joa. I although I'm not saying na Joa may kasama mo but oh <laughs> ano feeling? <God. laughs> um na, siguro nag-enjoy ka ngayon at Bea no. Um <laughs> Let's just say this, let's just say this. Um bucket list check. But it's more it's probably more than that. Taking all of that out of the equation, um, just getting to see that was truly parang a God-given moment. Yung masasabi mo lang, hindi, hindi sana all ang, ang sasabihin mo eh. You'll just say, you'll look up and you'll see past the northern lights and you'll just have a moment where you thank God. Um, and whatever happens in the future. I'll always say thank God for that moment. <laughs> so, uh, Ate Bea, thank you so much for, for grilling me. Um, my patis ring tayo for tomorrow's taping episode, which will come out sometime in May. Uh, I just want to make it clear for everyone watching, it'll come out in May. Um, thank you so much to Silent Lurger Gab, Saranghi Mayward, Tina Tizon, uh, Saranghi Mayward again, Yona Smith, Tokande, and Cupid Smith. And to our top three gifters, na si Yona Smith at number three. Number two, Saranghi Mayward. And number one, si Silent Lurker Gab. Maraming maraming salamat. Thank you so much, Ate Bea, for throwing me under the bus, for sharing your experiences <laughs> and being so so real. Um, that's what we love so much about Thank you is that you. whether it be in acting or vlogging, you're always so real. And there's not – you can't say that about everyone, but that's the reason why so many love you. So, of course, you, you mentioned your YouTube channel. Uh, go ahead. Plug anything. Of course, your upcoming movie later this year. Plug it all. Yes. <laughs> no, um, I'll be doing a movie with John Doy this year and also another movie with um, Alden. It's um, wow. a Filipino adaptation of A Moment to Remember. Yeah. Um, based oh, just wow. a Korean movie. I'll also be doing a movie with La Chocolate. That's a dream come true project for me. And then every Saturday, I have episodes that upload on YouTube by Bea. So, 
please watch out for this week's episode. <laughs> Thank you for guesting me. I had fun. <laughs> Thank you for coming on, Atibea. <laughs> for you I made had me sweat fun today. You. <laughs> you made <laughs> me sweat today. Thank you so much. But like, of course, keep your eye out uh, for the queen of cinema here in the Philippines and one of the most uh, oh. generous people ever. And we love you so much, Atibea. Of course, everyone at Mix. Thank you to everyone who sent their virtual gifts as well. Uh, and we'll see you again next week, 6 p.m. on the official Kumo account of Mix at MixPH uh, for another fresh episode of Kwentong Barber. Bay Alonso, everybody. The one and only. Yay, thank you. Congrats, Edward. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.